Acer Aspire VX15 with the premium gaming laptops out of the way, it's time to turn our heads to the more affordable solutions on the market. And, of course, Acer is one of the first to offer such laptop. The new Aspire VX15 is what seems to be a blend between last year's Aspire V15 Nitro Black Edition and a Predator 15 but design isn't everything and these claims couldn't be further from the truth. That's not necessarily a bad thing, though. In this review, however, we will be looking at one of the most affordable variants of the VX15 with a GTX 1050, Core i7-7700HQ CPU, Full HD TN display and 8GB of DDR4 2133 RAM with a starting price of just a little over $799 because the $799 base model comes with a Core i5-7300HQ. There will be a GTX 1050T powered version down the road and we will be reviewing that one as well. For now, let's see what the most affordable configuration has to offer. We reviewed the base configuration with no M.2 SSD installed but we found that the connector supports three different sizes. As you can see from the image below, there's room for the standard 2280 stick, 2260 or 2242. Also, we tried out an M.2 King Mess SD but the system wasn't able to recognize it. There's also the usual 2.5 inch HDD manufactured by Toshiba with 1TB capacity. The motherboard can hold up to 32GB of DDR4 2133-2400 RAM but our unit came with 18GB DDR4 2400 micron chip while the other slot was free. The Wi-Fi card is located near the right cooling fan and it's manufactured by Qualcomm. The model is a Thorosk Kinfa 344A. The battery unit is rated at 52.5 watt hours and can be easily spotted in the lower part of the base. The cooling design consists of two cooling fans separated near both ends of the chassis connected to the heat sinks with heat pipes. Our temperature tests determined that it's absolutely sufficient for a GTX 1050 but we will wait and see how it will get along with the pricier GTX 1050T version.